entrepreneurs ask me all the time, what are the basic skills I need to start a business? I want to read some books and learn and get ready. Spoiler alert. Skills are learned through application and doing. They are not learned by sitting back and thinking, reading books, and hearing podcasts. You can learn information, get ideas of concepts, but taking those and applying them into real-world doing, making them into skills so you instinctively are doing the right thing, that can only be done by actually being in the arena and doing the thing. That's why if you're thinking about starting a business and you've done the math to make sure it works out, the doing is where you're going to learn stuff. You cannot learn enough until you jump in. But there are about eight primary skills that I help entrepreneurs learn that are invaluable in business. Now, different entrepreneurs get better or worse at the variety of these skills, but they all are incredibly important to not get in your way as you progress forward. The first is managing yourself. This includes managing your emotions, your time, and your self-discipline. The second is maximizing your product market fit. This is how do you have an irresistible product? Who is your market? Does your product solve the needs of that market? And is there a fit there? How do you communicate that? Incredibly important. Number three is lead generation and selling. And this is one that a lot of entrepreneurs really don't want to focus on and get good at. I'll come back to that later. Number four is finances. You have to manage your cash flow, manage your profit margins, know your finances. Number five is strategic planning. You have to have a roadmap and know where you're going. Number six is systems. I would say a lot of entrepreneurs don't even know what a system is, what I mean when I'm saying that. So a system is a way to reliably go through a step of processes to get a reliable outcome. I'll talk about that more in other videos. Number seven is managing people. Uh, as a manager, we typically act just however we acted the first time we were a manager and never stopped. So if we were a buddy-buddy friend manager, we did that. We never stopped doing that. If we were a jerk yell at people manager, we did that and never stopped. So managing people is a skill set that will add stability to your business as you get better and better at it. And number eight is managing data. The higher up you move into an organization where it scales bigger and bigger, the more important that data is to give you the information to make decisions. When it's just you, you have all the data right at your fingertips. Whenever you're in a bigger organization, how information flows is key to success. So with these eight skills, it takes a lot of time to build these. Um, and again, I work one-on-one -on -one with entrepreneurs to help them figure that part out. Um, and you don't actually have to do all of them, but the more of these that you get good at, the better your chance of success. I'll use the example of people who don't like to sell. That's sort of like Shaquille O'Neal not being good at free throws. Now, can you make it work? Yes. Would it be better if you were also good at free throws? Definitely. So. By having that weakness, you're having to compensate and make your way around it, which means it takes more energy, less efficiency, and you have a hole in your tactics and strategy, which competitors can come in and take advantage of. So with that in mind, it's very important that you focus on skills. And because skills take time, it's important that you're laser focused one at a time on putting in the daily work to get the skills put together. So often in business, we just focus on doing the work we're paid for, doing the billable hours, being the technician. But building these skills is what allows you to fire yourself up the org chart and becoming a CEO level manager that actually runs an organization more and more successfully. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. I'd love to start a conversation. Have a good one.